Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to my first <laughs> devlog. So uh, I've been really inspired by the games I've been playing lately, like Vampire Survivors, Rotato, uh, 20 Minutes Till Dawn, and some other stuff like that. And uh, I had some art laying around that I've been working on, as you can see here. Uh, nothing basic, and I'm just going to slowly start drawing some stuff. And I also have some experience with Unity, so I figured, what the hell, why not um, kind of record and share my journey <laughs> of making a small indie game on YouTube. So I don't know what this is going to be called yet, but it's going to be some form of, of survival. Uh, so far, I have just been building like basic... Uh, integrations. I have player movement done as you can see here. So it's WASD and uh, I plan to like hook up controller and stuff like that. I have uh, spawning and like a first character or a first type of enemy done. This is like a blob uh, in the style that I'm looking for. Uh, the background's probably a little darker than I want for here but uh, that's not done either. Like I plan to have the environment moving uh, with you as you go through the map so like I said really early but I got like player spawning I have a simple kind of ray uh, done here and uh, you can see I don't have all the I, like I don't have collision done or any of that stuff completed yet uh, but let's see if I can where's the cooldown for this yeah, so so I could like really boost up the attack, I think here. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe as I start shooting stuff. So the problem is right now, right now they're just like getting <laughs> shot out of the way um and not destroyed when they're actually being hit. So uh just stuff that I'm not done with, but the but there you go. So in actuality like and and like frame rate sucks because there's like hundreds of these uh things being built right now uh off screen and they're not optimized as you can see there's a lot of batch there's not a lot of batches um but it's using a lot of fps so that's like just stuff that i need to fix because it's the animators uh playing so a lot of optimization will have to be done but i mean as you can see right now really basic uh but you can kind of see the vibe i'm going for if if you can see, like, I, I want to do all the art handmade and uh, kind of, yeah, get this kind of style, like these masks, this mask character going through a dark land, uh, like trying to survive uh, some like hellish type masked enemies and uh, create some point drop up level up spell system that is fun to play and, you know, just kind of make a little survivor indie game. Uh, as like my first released game that I've made because I've been kind of learning and making games here and uh, I'm working on some other stuff too but I figured something like this I can put out like pretty pretty quickly I think uh, to have something basic and slowly build on it as I grow and maybe share on the channel how I do stuff um, for example you guys need to tell me uh, if you're watching how deep you want me to go but I'll kind of show you what I worked on today. So basically in my assets folder over here, uh, how I'm organizing it is we have the enemies uh, floor stickers, which is just this right here, um, which I don't know why it's not in there yet. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's here. So that's just the floor pentagram uh, that's actually here. So I, I can move that around. Uh, it's just kind of there for now for looks and the player. So like I'll get into the player first. I don't want these to be super long, but I can show you guys what I'm doing. So for player movement, what I'm doing here is it's a really simple script that uses rigid body 2D. And uh, it uh, looks for the rigid body. It comes up with a vector. Uh, it has a speed that's... Uh, uh, adjustable and why this is here and there'll be other stuff too and this might this might change you know what i mean but right now this is how i have it uh like it might move under player stats if that makes sense but right now it makes sense here uh so say if you get a speed upgrade you would just have to edit this 
Uh, and then you just update. So wherever you're moving, whichever key code you press, it kind of updates where the position is on the map. And you can see how that reflects here. Pretty, pretty simply, right? See? So it moves you around. If you use two keys, it'll move you diagonally and so on and so forth. And the speed affects how fast you go. And for the attack, um, basically I'm setting up stuff here for the future, but I'm instantiating a projectile that's in a list. So it'll be a list of abilities, uh, whether they're active or not, if they're on cooldown, and then uh, stuff that will come in here that are basically power-ups for each ability. Uh, or for the character will be in here. So yeah, that's basically how I have it set up right now. And um, the monster's the same way. If I look at the enemy, I have a blob in here with an animator. And then if you look at the enemy movement, it's like a really simple rigid two body movement script. So it's saying to find the player. And uh, if you have a target, if you see the player, then follow it. And uh, basically I'll make another script that is uh, the, the enemy stats, right? So if it gets hit, if there's a collision, uh, it will uh, take damage. It'll have a take damage function and stuff like that. So pretty simple. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, like I said, this is the first devlog, but I will uh, kind of keep you updated as I build upon it more. And uh, yeah, please uh, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you like the art style, uh, like I said, I'm not a great artist, but I have fun making this stuff. So I think, <laughs> and like the animations will definitely need polishing and stuff like that, but I'm having fun with it. So yeah, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. And uh, yeah, post some stuff in the comments if you want to see more. Thanks guys.